um, albeit um, very, very important for me to come in contact to, to composers. Um, how did you come, how did you get in touch, to get to know each other? We, we never met before physically. It happened a few hours ago, Lawrence <laughs> and Kitara. Um, thanks to social forums, Facebook and so on, Kit uh, and Annie can come, but for a bizarre reason, the uh, recording, the live recording of mine of Opus Secretum by Sorabji. Sorabji wrote extremely, extremely complex. Should we say it's the quintessentially complex uh, piano composer? We say complexity per se uh, as a name in itself. And Keith's music is just the opposite. It's music uh, extremely, if we speak technically, extremely verified. So, why, what do such extremes have in? Well, it is the utopian, um, shall we say, concept, uh, ambition of breaching the barriers of the uh, traditional understanding and perception of the musical thought process. They are very unique composers in this. So, I often hear in the chance music that you find. I was so fascinated, so taken, that I really downloaded everything that I found downloadable of his music, which is quite a considerable amount on his website. And I must say, there hasn't been a day since that I haven't listened to at least a few minutes of it. But it has his healing properties, powers. So then I wrote to him and said, I would like to play the music not only listen to it, and um, since my survival is not a technological champion, he has uh, actually sent me his scores, uh, copied longhand, and I'm hoping that you will learn how to scan scores so that you can do music better now, and available to guests. And I had a few experiences of public performances of his music at an Italian festival in Padua called Festival Christophe. Christophe was the inventor of the piano mechanism. And he was born in Padua, so he decided to have a festival in Padua and a teacher at Padua Conservatory. So um, I played to involve the Healing Angels on two occasions for the festival. One occasion was a concert entirely devoted to the department called, in the series called Exploratio, exploring music, exploring specific music. It was also a, a special evening because it was organized um, in collaboration with Italy Israel Association, and they were about to celebrate the Hanukkah. So I asked for a specially dim uh, light, candlelight. For the whole concert and incense smoke. <laughs> so it was a very, very magical atmosphere. I think if I can find it in, on, on YouTube, there's this menorah, um, and it, have, it wasn't, I am not Jewish, it wasn't a Jewish evening, but it was a Jewish Christian, very interesting, mystical uh, event, and people were very struck. I also asked a clinical psychologist. <laughs> To explain the effect of the alpha state, mental state, because this music tends to, to help people indulge into an alpha state. I also explained to them the powers of music that is performed with the sustained pedal held throughout. Because before Christopher invented the piano mechanism, it was an instrument, a dulcimer, played a huge dulcimer, so, sort of, imagine a piano with strings and no hammers and no dampers that 
Pantaleon Heaven Strike, this virtuoso um, that worked in Saxony at the end of the 10th century, he would really enchant people playing on his dulcimer with mallets. Then Zilbermann, who was another piano uh, maker, invented a mechanism on top of the dulcimer. They basically invented a piano, and many pian early pianos were still called Pantaleon, that whose sound intermingling sonorities are never that. And I had given a lecture on that. And here Barnett comes and utilizes this sort of, you know, this technique that produces the sound word. You have to be very careful to, to make sure that the overlapping and the intermingling sounds work together very well. So as it has been very interesting. I don't think I ever had a chance to talk here about this. So for me, it's a very important evening, shall I say. But then Lawrence came and he is organizing this and he asked me to play music by Keith and by Soramji. I told him that I wouldn't be able to do it right this moment, uh, this week, maybe not even next week, maybe in a few months, and why don't we have the Lawrence Keith in, uh, with it. So I'm discovering a new sound world of these two composers, very interesting for me, I wish all the best, and I hope our cooperation will con continue. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> enjoy.